Hello, this is Naomi Dawn and I just wanted to do a quick video on a couple of my design teammates for June. And um, I'll start with this one. This is one that I made to hold candles, like little votives, etc. And this is made with an extra large tag frame with an oval cutout. And I've put an extra large tag on the bottom to create the base. Let's take that off. So there's the base. And to make sure that stayed upright, I added um, corner set three, otherwise known as fauna. And then I painted the whole thing cream. Now initially, I was going to have purple flowers on that. So I coloured that in using my Copix and then I realised I didn't have enough of my purple flowers to go for this project and what I wanted to do. So I was ended up with pink flowers, but I still love them. Okay, back to the third new pieces. Um, I use just here I've used one of the old style frames. I love those, you get a pack of four. They do have their inserts, but I use those on other project projects, sorry and here i've used flourishes two and they come in the set of six so you get two of each size there's three sizes in there and on the back i've used chicken wire now this is the smaller of the two chicken wire that's available i believe that's 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters but i'd have to check and it just made it a bit more interesting for when the candle's shining through so I don't know if this is fireproof or not, but my candles are always in glass votives, so I think that will make it safe enough. Um, and a bit of a Yankee candle fan, so I can see the smaller jars sitting on there as well. So hopefully that will be safe. Then the glass is tall enough. So I've added some fussy cut lace here and here. I've also added, there's actually here, uh, another set of corner set three, but once I've got the flowers on it kind of took over, so you can't really see these, they're on there. And um, what else can I tell you, pearls, I love pearls, they always end up on there. Now I've deliberately not painted, or tried not to paint the sides of my flourishes too. I wanted that bit of depth, I wanted them to pop. And I think that, that helps. And if I'd have just left it all plain or painted it all cream, I think it just would have vanished a little bit. So I think that helps it stand out. So that's that one. And this one is my piano. This is my daughter's fault. She caught a glimpse of something else I'd made for a craft along. And she went, oh, piano. And then after that, all I could see was piano. So I had to make one. <laughs> so this started with a four inch dimensional heart which I glued the sides onto the base as you can see here and then I glued that onto a piece of chipboard which I cut to shape and as you can see these are corners type 6 which I use a lot for the legs they're not as sturdy as I would have liked. I think I should stick two together. So if I redo that, that's what I'll do. I'll show you here the detail. So this has been painted with emulsion paint actually. And I've got gold gilding wax on the top. And inside, I've propped it up with another, the last of the, um, was type 6 and that one's been gilded gold I padded out the inside of my dimensional heart with some foam and then on the top of that I've added all the flowers otherwise it would have just been like a big pile of flowers that you couldn't see and then these bits of lace are actually all fussy cut they're all individual pieces that I've put on there and they go all the way around so my pattern goes round the edge of my heart and just said it's on the top as well now the lid's actually one die cut 
that I've cut out. I didn't even use the whole die cut. And then there's another three of this die cut following around. Right. I just like to play. So, um, for the keys, I painted this bit white and I had some little pieces in some off cuts that I'd got from the loo and they were perfect for the black keys so I painted those black and glued them on and then I've just used a pen to draw in um, the white keys so thank you for dropping by that's two of my projects that I've done recently and I hope they'll inspire you to make something of your own talk to you soon, bye